Are you fam are you familiar with that poem called The Dash? Uh, no, I'm not. It's not about you being born. It's not about you dying. It's about what you do in the dash in the middle. I got you. And then so that's the legacy. I want to live. I want to be a legacy every day, so that when I am gone. People can look back and say, you know what? She was trying to teach us this. It was all about love, that kind of thing. I want to live that day to day. I, it's not something you write on a piece of paper and, hey, here's my legacy, it's, you know, when you die. That's not how that goes. Right. And so, some, some, people, so uh, some people try to purchase a legacy. What do you mean? Well, they give people the right things that uh, may or may not oh. be, you know, the, the uh -huh. truth, and they... It's kind of like the emperor that has no clothes. Uh, yeah. They can't yeah. see themselves for who they really are. They want to buy a legacy and they want to buy a reputation and, you know, uh, yeah. as if it's for sale. And I mean, actually, everything is for sale, unfortunately, in this world, but uh, you don't yeah. have to sell it or you don't have to accept it. But I know yeah. what you mean there. You, you're more of a natural. Uh, uh, a natural celebrity and in, in that uh, uh, you know you realize that uh, the person above controls everything that's right and everybody that's right, that's right. and no matter right. how, how big you are or think you are uh, if, if, he, if he wants to teach you a lesson <laughs> you're gonna get taught <laughs> uh, can you say yeah on that <laughs> Regardless to how many people you can have a whole army of people around you, you can have all those people just scatter and you be there by yourself. <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, That's right. Yeah, we're going through that right now with the old POTUS. Uh, uh. Humpty Dumpty. What do you say about Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, you uh, spent some time in Okinawa. How was that? Oh, it was great. Now, let me tell you what, that was a, a moment in a lifetime, uh, okay. and I say moment in the sense that, you know, it's over now, but right. that was just the highlight of my life. But I know on your question of my favorite places to travel and why, I'm, I'm going to flip it over to that. Okay. My favorite place to travel right now, uh -huh. at this point in my life, uh -huh. is ooh, Vancouver, Canada. Really? Mm. Okay, yeah. why? I don't know. It, it, it is a hard, it is a hard toss up between Vancouver, Canada, and London, England. Ooh. They are so much alike. That's um, on my bucket list, London. Oh my God! In the fact that they're both rainy, but they're both beautiful. Both, both. Um, especially now, Vancouver to me is more of a newer in, in city in architecture, mm -hmm. but London. Is so it's like opening up a storybook. Yeah, it's like oh, you know those pop ups. Long time ago, we kids. It yeah. reminds me of that. Yeah. So it's a toss up. I say Vancouver first because when I went to Vancouver, because I, I was a resistant about London. I was like, eh, whatever. I want to go to Paris, right? All right. And I went there too. But I, Vancouver, something happened spiritually when I stepped foot off that plane. I'm like, what? Well, I've been here before. It mm -hmm. was a, it was a something, and I. My mom was with me on that trip, so it made it even better. Oh. Um, something about Vancouver, Canada, and I'm looking forward to going back. Okay. Um, how long has it been since you've been, been there? How long has it been since I've been there? Yeah. Oh, God, that's been about seven years ago now. Okay, that's, that's fairly recent. Seven years ago. San Francisco reminds me a lot of Vancouver, Canada in some respects, too. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it is about those kinds of cities that that attract me. I don't know. It, it, outside of it being, the air is different. Um, I feel like I can exhale. It seems so, you know what it is? I just mm -hmm. thought about it, especially in Vancouver. Okay. I, did, I didn't feel a strong sense of racism. Uh, that you must have read my mind because that was the next question I was going to ask. How did they treat you? That, that, the black that I didn't feel. I didn't feel a, because it was so multi ethnical, mm -hmm. multi ethnic rather that I I was like, whoa, this because you could walk up to anybody and you don't know what language is going to come out of their mouth. Okay. It's like, oh, I thought you were that, but you're not. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Even if they look black. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So that was exciting to me, and I think I'm intrigued by things like that. Yeah. You know? 
Well, it's kind of like yeah. that. Uh, I'm in Miami now. This, this is where I'm from. You know, I'm kind of kind of down here year round because of the pandemic. But I'll be making my way back up there once this once they figure out what this once God says. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's time, time to move on. <laughs> I think y'all may yeah, have hopefully I, learned some stuff, but uh, I know. but yeah, down here it's the same way. You you don't know what people are and, until uh, you know the first word comes out of their mouth, and uh, you yeah. can't assume anything because uh, <laughs> you never know who they are, where they're from, or what their history is, what their background is. It's like a melting right. pot. Which should be a lesson for all of us to just say, quit being so racist or judgmental or, you know, quit prejudice. You know, I've got this this product line that I just started. Uh, I call it Merch with a Message. Mm -hmm. Um, Where I've got, like, certain graphics on T-shirts, cups, whatever, whatever. That's on your website? No, it's not on my website yet. Oh. I've got it on social media right now. I've got the soft opening going up. But What's it, it called it's, again? It's all merch with a message. I'll send you a link. Okay, good, because I can, I can give you a, a uh, oh. plug on that. Um, I appreciate that. Okay, um, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing of like, look, we can we can all, everything is scriptural, scriptural based. Mm-hmm. You know, or yeah, yeah, you're right. You're, you're exactly right. It's scripture for it. So, you know, it's, 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 uh, life is too short. That's all I was <laughs> well, like, people are saying this is unprecedented. And I'm like, huh? Do you read the Bible? In, uh-huh. in the Bible, uh, there are many plagues. Yeah. COVID 19 is a plague. They can call okay. it what they want. At the end of the day, it's a plague. That's okay. right. And until it until it runs its course, uh, you can come out with as many vaccines as as humanly possible. Uh, it ain't gonna end before it's supposed to end. And unfortunately, you have people that uh, in denial, and you have people that uh, you see them in, in in the bed and and they can't breathe and they're like. Yeah, I didn't think it was real, and uh, I was one of the ones that were telling people it was a hoax. And I was telling right. people, you know, you don't have to wear a mask, you need to wear a mask. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and then some people just, can't, just cannot admit that they were wrong. You were wrong. Right. You were, you were wrong. <laughs> so, uh-huh. admit it. Uh, well, on, on that note, yeah. you played a role in one of my favorite shows that they should have never taken off TV. Revolution. Revolution. Grace Beaumont. <laughs> Does this remind that you was, of, that was, of, of that movie, that, that show? That was my second favorite role. That was my second favorite role. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that show. I'm telling you, that was... I don't know what I like more about that show, the fact that I was working or the fact that I was recurring or the fact right. that I got to work with Capitalo Esposito. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit of everything, huh? All the way around. Well, I, I was saying, she, I was saying she must be doing a, a great job because they keep bringing it back, and you had a recurring role, so that that uh, yeah. is a testament to, uh, you know, that character you played. Now, how did you get into uh, that character? Did you was it natural, or did you have to study? Because back then you didn't have the COVID nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> the draw. Well, you know, it's really interesting. That kind of role is in my wheelhouse. Okay. Uh, and of course, it, it was like it, so when you got good writing, yeah. you carry the. You just have to honor the writing. Uh-huh. So I didn't work so much about it being a big stretch or anything. I think just about everything that I get booked on is is in my wheelhouse. Otherwise, I don't think they book me. Right. And I don't. I wouldn't that I'd be able to do it, but um, that one, I'm a biology major. I'm yeah, a I saw science. that. I got that in my background, so my brain went there. Okay. Um, so it was, it was. I think the biggest challenge for me in any acting job is like, okay, I know my line. Oh, now you want me to move over there while I'm talking? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk and talk? You want to do what? You want to do this while I'm saying I'm there. I'm making a joke. It's the so blocking. is, you know. <laughs> it's like, can you still say this? 
Now, not where, seriously. Where was that film? <laughs> it was um, the first the, the first the pilot was done in Atlanta. Really. The first season was done in Wilmington. Oh yeah. The second the second season was done in Austin, Texas. That's a big stretch from Wilmington to Austin, Texas. Yeah, that's right around the time that they started changing the laws, uh, the incentives, tax incentives in Wilmington. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember so that. So that's, that's part of the reason why they moved to, um, to Texas. It was a money thing. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, the money talks yeah. and we got to walk. <laughs> yeah, I, but you know that's not my area. My area is on my line. <laughs> right. Well, I tell you, you did an excellent job in that show, and and uh, thank uh, you. You think they're going to bring it back in, in syndication? I, I, well, they play it in other countries as well. I mean, you mm -hmm. know. Because I don't think it, I, I I don't think I've seen all of the uh, episodes. Uh, I, I mean, I tried. It was, to, it, was on, it was on Netflix for a while. I'm not sure if it's still on Netflix or not. Oh, but yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah it was on like, for at least a couple of years after that. You would think that they would, you know, uh, Mr. Abrams, J.J. Abrams would bring it back. Now that we have, you know, COVID-19, you might want to call him. <laughs> Say, hey, man, exactly. bring this show back. They, they were the first, they, for, they foresaw that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. relevant I, now. Yeah, ain't that crazy? And, and uh, you know, you never know. The ratings will go through the roof and people can identify more with it now. Oh yeah, that's what they was they was talking about in that show. <laughs> I well, thought it was just a show. <laughs> I'm not still looking at it because I'm still getting residual checks on it. Oh, so, there you yeah. go. There you they're go. playing it. Some people are looking. <laughs> so, in, in other countries too because, you know, it's in foreign markets as well. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you getting any residuals from Hidden Figures? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the deal. Uh -huh. This is the deal. I did bad, thank God. Uh, that's why I'm in the union. That's why I'm going to be doing this continuing education in a little bit. Right. Um, because just about everything that I do is connected to, um, you know, have residuals are connected to it. Okay. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, that's, that's called, what do you call that? That's called, um, there's a word, of, there's a term I wanted to use, but I can't recall what it is right now. Getting paid. <laughs> well, that, it's simple terms, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's like are building your portfolio. Okay. I'm building. I'm investing in myself because I am building it so that when I do, if I ever know the word retirement, whatever that may mean in my world, I doubt that I will get to that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, I've already built into my 401k is what I was trying to say. That's kind of what that is. Into my, mm -hmm. my retirement plan is what I was trying to get at. Okay. I got you. Yeah. So I can sustain myself when I get older and I might not be able to do this at this, at this pace. Yeah. 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 That's, that, that's true. And, and uh, I think about that all the time. And, uh, yeah, at some point you got to think, okay, one day I won't have the energy and I won't be able mm -hmm. to get around as much. What am I going to do? And yeah. I can't see myself sitting on the porch, mm -hmm. you know, watching the world yeah. go by. I'd rather poke myself in the eye with pins and needles than sit on the porch. I know it's relaxing, and you see people doing it all the time, but that's not me. I got to be doing something. I'm I'm, I'm a bit rambunctious. I got to have something to do, <laughs> and you know, keep keep my mind and uh, you know occupied and and. Uh, Try to not be idle. Absolutely, because uh, you know when we ooh, it, it, mm, start getting all like that, and it's like, yeah, we're doing it ourselves. And that, but, but you know, but at the same time, there has to be a balance of rest as well. Yeah, yeah, you gotta take a break. No one want to get yeah, overload, overload the circuits. Yeah, look, look they, like their brain talk about the beginning. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no. How's the hashtag duets? Are you still doing that? Oh, man, I still stay in close touch. They're in L.A. while I'm in North Carolina during the pandemic. Uh -huh. But we've done a couple of things um, to kind of keep the audience engaged. But I plan, I'm 
fearfully uh, planning to have him come to North Carolina, Georgia, and hopefully Winston-Salem, uh, well, to Charlotte and to Winston-Salem, because the other female in the group, Latonya Black, mm-hmm. Gilliard, she from Winston-Salem. Uh, we met each other at Winston-Salem State our first year. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, the piano player, he's from Atlanta, and then the other singer, the other male singer, he's from New York. So okay. hopefully we can do a few spots on the East Coast this year. Okay. But when when things lift up and we can go out and do things, we can, you know, yeah, but oh, it's yeah. a very special um, passion project, a passion project. Okay, I see. Yeah. Now, yeah. are you familiar yeah. with uh, Dr. Selma Burke? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know oh, she, yeah. she she went to WSSU? Oh, yeah. Okay. But back oh. then, it, do you know what the name of the school was back then? TC. Mm. What's the teacher college? Yeah. It was, and a and, and long time ago, it was the Slater State Normal Industrial oh, yeah. School. Yeah. True that, true that. That's the first name, right. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me, and it's been a pleasure, and good to know you're yeah, still yeah. down right. to earth, and that goes a long way with me, and people that read the article, uh, it will go a long way with them as well, because I'll make sure uh-huh. it does. Well, I really appreciate your time, too. I, do, I really do. It's, it's fun. You know, it's, it's all fun you do, like, an interview, and it's just like, hey, just hanging out. Right. You know? It's, That's the conversation. It's, it's, yeah, it's not this just thing. Uh-huh. You know, it's, you, you get to know more about the nuances this way. Now, so. the, uh, the next time I run into you, though, I may not be able to pick you up like I did, you know, 30 years ago. <laughs> We'll, we'll have to kind of like, uh, you know, go through the motion. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want both of us to fall over. <laughs> that is hilarious. I can't. Okay. Yeah. You know what? And I'm not to take it either because I'm like, look, let me just stay still where I am too. So I get it. And uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, look forward to, uh, uh, you know, giving you that plug on your, on your. Don't forget the Merck link. Give me your plug I just, I on that. that okay. Okay, all right. Well, we'll get that in there and get your plug. Thank you, Dad. Have a good one. All right, you too. God bless. All right, you too. Stay Bye-bye. safe.